The LI system from the Sivacon 8PS product family is a state-of-the-art bus bar trunking system from Siemens, which allows the safe transmission and distribution of large power volumes. In vertical installations, which are popularly used in large buildings, so-called spring brackets are commonly used. These spring brackets are the first components to be wall-mounted in LI system installations. The spring bracket's function is to support and guide its own weight and the stress-dependent length extensions of the trunking units. The two guide elements are now removed. The LI trunking unit can now be mounted on the prepared spring bracket. A tightening of the guide elements will affix the trunking unit on the bracket. Remove the four covers of the hook and bolt connection to extend the bus bar run. Unlock the two single bolt terminal blocks. Continue with the installation of the next trunking unit by removing the transport protection. The trunking unit can now be mounted on the wall. Installation entails an easy insertion into the terminal block. Follow the given phase order markings from left to right, N1, L1, L2, L3, PE, to ensure correct conductor assignment. Make sure to position the lateral earth side plates flush against the two trunking units. Check the distance between the two trunking units. The distance between the trunking units at the earth side guide plates must be within a tolerance of 0 to maximum 4 millimeters. The terminal block is then positioned correctly. During initial installation, the two single bolt terminals can also be tightened without a torque key. Tighten the outer part of the double-headed nut until shearing off. That will represent a torque of 50 Newton meters. Mounting the covers will complete the installation of the maintenance-free bus bar connection. The fixed point angle is an important retaining element in vertical installations. The fixed point angle serves as a template for drilling the fixing holes in the wall. Once the holes have been drilled, the fixed point angle is then screwed to the wall and to the trunking unit. The spring bracket becomes functional with the removal of the red nuts for transport protection. The fitting guide is then attached to the trunking unit before the tap-off unit is plugged on. Prepare the tap-off unit for installation. Place the tap-off unit flat on the ground. Set the switch position of the door-mounted rotary operator to off before removing the cover. Detach the cover screws and lift off the cover. Make sure not to damage the seals arranged on the inside of the cover. You can now remove the lower transport protection. Open the tap-off point before attaching the tap-off unit. The tap-off unit can now be plugged onto the bus bar system. Simply swivel the unit into position. An audible click will signal its correct position. The tap-off unit is now mechanically fixed, but is still in disconnected position and is finger safe in accordance with IP2X. A second safety level can be optionally implemented by adding a lock to secure the retaining lever. The electric connection of the consumer to the tap-off unit can now be carried out safely by simply connecting the consumer cables. Electric contact between the tap-off unit and the bus bar system must not be established before all cable connections have been completed and secured. Where used, remove the optional lock from the lever and then move the lever to its end position. This action will pull the unit to the bus bar and establish the electric connection with the trunking system. Then, screw the cover onto the tap-off unit. The tap-off unit will only be activated once the switch is set from off to on and current will flow to the consumer. 
The installation of the tap-off unit is therefore completely safe. The LI system, an integrated solution for safe and efficient power supply of the future.